Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Milson for teaching us the truth and who grew well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kotas of Zion, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another video, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. So in this video, I want to speak about this madness that you see on the screen. This is a news article from CNN.com. And it reads, Megan Fox has a blood drinking ritual with Machine Gun Kelly and thinks social media is sinister. Let me look up the word sinister real quick. Minister, giving the impression that something harmful or evil is happening or will happen. And the second one, off on or towards the left hand side in coat of arms from the bearer points of point of view. For example, the right as it's depicted, the opposite of Dexter. Sinisterly, sinisterness, and the origin, late Middle English, in the sense, malicious, underhand, from Old French, sinistre, or Latin, sinister, left. Man, this, these people, they're backwards, because it is evil, it is from the left-hand side, and it is evil as hell, you know, it's very evil. <coughs> or like... Uh, Donald Trump would say it's very, very evil. <laughs> but yeah, going back. CNN recorded Megan Fox would like, like yeah, Megan Fox would like to clear up what people think about her and fiance Machine Gun Kelly drinking each other's blood. So, this quote, so I guess to drink each other's blood might mislead people or people are imagining us with goblets and we're like game of thrones drinking each other's blood she told glamour glamour uk it's just a few drops but yes we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only unquote so she admits and and this this thing that they're doing yeah, it's not good, man. Let me read further and then I'm going to dive into the scriptures. Fox is on the cover of April of April's issue of magazine of the magazine and said she's into astrology, which we shouldn't do. Astrology is worshiping these uh, stars and stuff like that, you know, going into the hosts of heaven. What uh, what we as Israelites used to do. You know, we used to use the stars to 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 um, know in which season we are. You know, if we're, if there's going to be a drought, it's for telling times, you know, and also for uh, finding your way at night. You know, you would follow the, the stars because they're in a fixed place always, you know. She said she is into astrology, metaphysical practices, meditations, as well as new and full moon practices. Yep, that's straight up witchcraft for you. This 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 woman she's a witch and she's practicing witchcraft. When she and Kelly do a blood ritual, she said for her it's a passage or it is used for a reason, of course, to open portals to, to manifest certain demons. And it is controlled where it's like Let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it. Fox said, he's much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic. Where he's willing to just cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. These people, they're just bringing their witchcraft into the forefront, man. They have no shame in their game anymore, you know. It's already out there. 
you know, everything that's happening in uh, Hollywood. You see? The pair are friends with another engaged couple, Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. But Fox said they don't have, so like they don't hang out as much as people may believe. They're magnetic, she said about the pair. So nobody's really interacting with them too much because they're just stuck. Plus, between the two couples, there are quite a few children. Fox joked that Fox joked that doesn't leave much time for double dates. Fox got emotional during the interview, talking about her three sons and how she talked to them about gender identity, giving that her oldest Noah started wearing dresses when he was two years old. She said. According to Fox, she said she bought a bunch of books that sort of address these things and addressed a full spectrum of what this is. Some of the books are written by transgender, trans, uh, tra transgender children. You see, I can't even pronounce that word correct, man. Wickedness. Because a man is a man and a woman is a woman. You know, there's no trans anything because trans goes into changing changing of kind you know as the scripture says some of the books are just it's like yeah some of the books are just about how you can be a boy and re um, just the scripture. change kind because this has to be addressed It's all these things, man. I'm looking where I could start. Okay, so this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 23. For whilst they slew, so like for whilst they slew their children in sacrifices, that's what they're doing nowadays still. You know, our people, they're going to plant parenthood. And then they're bringing uh, their, 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 uh, how could you say it, fertile uh, egg that is um, fertile, you know, an egg that is impregnated. They bring that to Planned Parenthood. And even if the child is already grow growing in the womb, they, you know, they mangle that child, they kill that child. So that's actually a sacrifice onto their idols because what do they do with the fetuses? They say they use it for science, right? No, man, they're gonna do it for their little old rituals. So going back, with Muslim 14, verse 23, for whilst they slew their children in sacrifices or use secret ceremonies, like we're going into right now, you know, the rituals that they do, and they're, they're not that secret anymore, anymore because they're speaking on, on it, or made revelings of strange rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, but either one slew another treacherously or grieved him by adultery. And you know that the other couple that they were talking about, this Travis guy and uh, this, this Kardashian uh, chick, you know, you know that they're doing things together, you know, that they're having orgies and, and revelings and, uh, and, and uh, stuff like that, man. You know, things that they only do in the dark, you know, committing adultery with each other's wives and stuff. So this is Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 25. So that there reigned in all without except 
So like you saw that there reigned in all men without exemption, blood, manslaughter, theft, and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanness. You see? So, this is what they're doing. They're changing kinds. They're defiling their souls. You see? With this witchcraft. And they are committing adultery. All these things. Corruption, tumults, perjury. You see? So, these people, they know exactly what they're doing. They're doing everything according to the left-hand side. Because this, what we are reading right now here, you know, these are all things of the left-hand side. This is not in righteousness. The Most High desires righteousness. He doesn't de desire these things. You know, because these are inventions of men. This is not how the Most High designed it. Well, yeah, the, in, is in the bigger scheme of things, the Most High, He wanted us to go through all this wickedness to appreciate the righteousness. You see? So going back... Mm. Where did I start off? Let me start off here again. Some of the books are just about how you can be a boy and wear a dress. You can express yourself through your clothing however you want. And that doesn't even have to have anything to do with your sexuality, she said. So from the time they were very young, I've incorporated those things into their daily lives so that nobody feels like they are weird or strange or different. Fox said she keeps her children off of social media, which she thinks is sinister, left-hand side, like we were speaking on. Though she acknowledged she has accounts herself that someone ru runs for her. So yeah, man. The, that thing that these two people are engaged in it's not good you know it, it, it's uh, spiritually it defiles you you know and this is the thing that uh, the media is pushing you know this is not something that you should blast all over the place the thing that you should do let's go to the scripture with these people Exodus 22, verse 18. This is a point blank period. Exodus 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. The thing what you should do is put him to death, according to the Bible. You see? But no, what do they do? They put folly in, in high places, you know? God, this is Ecclesiastes 10 verse 6 folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place so folly which is foolishness is set in great dignity is set on high you know because this thing what these people are doing it's not righteous man it's not righteous in the sight of the most high it's wickedness you know it's foolishness but because they see that they get what they want, they get their riches, they get things uh, handed out to them when they participate in these rituals. That's why they do so, you know. But we, this is what we do. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities. This is a spiritual fight. Ephesians 6 verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, like we were going into. You know, these things are put in high places. They are uh, kept in high regard. These people, these people are from 
Hollywood, they're from the music industry, you know, they're, they're idols. They're set up as puppets to bring forth the agenda of the elites, you know, to, to, to ensnare and entrap everybody, to, to bewitch them with their music and with their hymns and with their songs, you see? And all the while they're putting spells on you. But we, Howard Tazar, we have that I self and we see clearly that these people are pushing that agenda, you know? So we put on the, the, the whole armor of the Most High, of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and we wrestle against these principalities, man. You know? We are breaking down strongholds because this is, this is a spiritual wickedness that is going on, that's running rampant here upon earth. That's why the Most High has got to come. That's why the Most High is going to come. You know, because of the iniquity of this world has as as long is long overdue, man. The judgment of, of the most high is rendering and pending because of the wickedness and the iniquities that everybody is doing here upon earth. You see. But if you see these people on television driving their cars having all type of um, luxurious things. You shouldn't fret. This is uh, Psalms 37, verse 1, and it reads, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So when you see these people, don't envy them. You know, don't eat up yourself. Because if you go into that word fret, to be hot, to burn, to kindle, to be angry, to heat up oneself in vexation. Don't be vexed in the spirit when you see these people having uh, um, riches and having attention and all these things. Don't envy them. Why? Verse 2. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So the Most High is going to chop them down, you know. The Most High is going to bring them low. See? The Most High is going to cause them to, to burn in the lake of fire. Let's go to that. Revelation 21, verse 8. Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers, people that are doing witchcraft, and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which is bur which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, which is the nuclear missiles, which is the, the, the uh, um, nuclear warhead that is going to drop upon America. You know, so these people are going to have their, their part in the lake of fire because they were so utterly consumed with drinking blood, with doing witchcraft, according to, to the mother of witchcraft, which is America. Let's go to name three. Verse four. And it reads, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, which is America, the mistress of witchcrafts, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. God, they're speaking about America, man. The, the judgment of Yahweh Shemesh is going to come here upon earth and it's going to burn fervently on America because America is that... that epitome of beauty you know she is the one that is spreading her, her folly and her wine all over the earth you know cnn and all these media outlets they're all uh, bringing out what america wants them to bring out you know cnn bcc fox news all these you see what happened to russia today right Russia today is being blocked in certain countries, you know, because they want their 
uh, agenda to be pushed. But Russia, Russia today, they don't go according to the ways of America. They don't broadcast America's folly. You see? And witchcrafts. Let's go to the book of Galatians. Galatians 5 verse 18. And it reads, um, till 21. This is Galatians 5 verse 18. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, which is sexual lewdness, idolatry, witchcraft, the thing that we're reading about right now, you know, the drinking of blood and doing rituals, you know, to open certain portals, hatred, variance, emu emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. See, so you are being warned not to be partakers of blood drinking and, and, and doing rituals with blood, you know, but our people, especially our, our females from our nation, Nation of Israel, so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, they have a long history with using blood and period blood, you know, to uh, make a man docile, put period blood in his in his food, or use his uh, her panties, you know, and fluids to smear on his, his 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 head cushion or on his clothes, you know, breaking the man's spirit, using witchcraft. You see. Our people, our, the women of our people, they are really wicked. And they, they like things like that. They like uh, bringing a man down, their man down, so that they can leech off of him, so that they can be a parasite off of him. You see? So what that does, it breaks his spirit so that he can't leave. You know, he becomes really docile. And that's witchcraft, man. But it's what... The book of uh, Deuteronomy says about witch about witchcraft. Deuteronomy eighteen, verse ten and eleven, and it reads: There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. And this is what a lot of people in Suriname also do. This is what a lot of people that do witchcraft do because what does that demon or that entity, that familiar spirit want? It wants a sacrifice. If you want a high level, uh, high level demon, or if you want the real riches, if you really want to make it, if you really want to uh, have access in riches or in in in, in um, how do you call it, fertility and stuff like that, because that's also uh, Ishtar, for example. The god Ishtar sees the goddess of fertility. So if you want those those heavy type of demons and demonic entities that, that do your bidding, then you have to sacrifice men. You have to sacrifice your son or your daughter, meaning to pass them through the fire. You know, and maybe you're going to see them grow for a couple of years but then when that demon comes then you have to give your son or your daughter when they're seven years old eight years old six years old you know when you have already uh, become attached to them but these are the things that our people are entangled with in you see so let me read again deuteronomy 18 verse 10 there shall not be found among you anyone that makes his job his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that use it divination, or observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or 
a, a counselor, it's like a, a consulter, consulter with familiar spirits, or wizard, or a necromancer, you see? So we are not supposed to engage in these type of things. For all that do these are an abomination unto Yahweh Shem Yahshai, and because of these things, so like, and because of these abominations, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, thy power, doth drive them out from before thee. You see, so these things are an abomination to the Most High. You know, meaning a filthy, filthy, horrendous act. You see, so it is very important that we, as the nation of Israel, the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we should look at this and understand what the Bible says about it. The Bible says a witch shouldn't live. The Bible says a witch and a sorcerer will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Uh, the Bible says a witch and a sorcerer, they shall have their portion in the second death, which is the, 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 the nuclear fire that is going to come upon this earth. You see? So don't look at these people and then you fret yourself, then you envy them because of the things that they have and their status and stuff like that. No man, you shouldn't envy them because the Most High, He's going to cut them off, you know. And these are the, 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 the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, that you know what the end of, of their practices is, you know. Uh, we, Yahweh Tzad, the men of the Lord, have been set up to warn our people about these things. We have to blow the trumpet, you know. We have to measure the times. We have to show you these things and where it's written in the Bible, you know, so that you don't go do these things because we, as a nation of Israel, we shouldn't be entangled with these, with these practices, you see. So with that, I hope this video is edifying, and I want to say, Kal Halal Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekha Kudash Shalom Akim.